Another brick fan here with a look at a Lego architecture set. This is Venice, Italy. This is set 21026 and was released in January 2016. Has 212 pieces, no minifigures, and cost about $30 when it was released. This is a Skyline set and it includes the Rialto Bridge, which spans the Grand Canal in Venice, St. Mark's Ballistica, which is the most famous church in Venice, St. Mark's Champanel, a bell tower in St. Mark's Square, the Columns of St. Theodore and the Lion of Venice. All of those three are in the St. Mark's Square, by the way. And then finally, on the far right, you see the Bridge of Sighs, which is an enclosed bridge that runs over the Rio di Palazzo. These small skyline sets, I think, are really nicely done. Lots of interesting building techniques. For example, this little grill piece is done behind a 2 by 2 with this slope on top which gives it kind of the partial hidden look of that little grill piece, which is printed. The nice thing about architecture sets is there's no stickers. Everything is printed. So this lion you see in the bell tower here of St. Mark's Champanel is printed as well. I think the look is really nice. So this, these one by twos with the grooves in them are all consistent and show off a lot of texture. The bridge is cleverly done with some fender pieces as well as some cone pieces and then a lot of cheese slopes or cheese wedges. I like how they use the trans blue pieces here with the black underneath to show off a nice river. The cathedral, of course, is done with a lot of grill pieces, done with these one by ones with a tooth here, and then some rounded elements on top. The bridge here on the side, the Bridge of Size, is pretty plain, but if you look at the actual picture of the Bridge of Size, I'm not quite sure how they would do a, a better representation. Of course, it's much higher above the river, so perhaps if they would have built, you know, some representations of buildings, because it is like on a second or third story of the buildings. These are definitely designed with a camera-friendly angle, but here is the statue of St. Theodore and this little clip piece is supposed to re represent the Lion of Venice. Obviously very difficult to do in Lego at this scale without creating a new piece. As I mentioned, they do have a camera friendly angle, so the back here is extremely plain. But these look really great up on a shelf, and they're kind of targeted at the higher end collector. They are a little bit more expensive, obviously. 212 pieces for $30 and a lot of small pieces to boot make this a more expensive set. For me, as an adult collector, I think the value is really pretty good. These are interesting sets to put together. Like I mentioned, they have very good building techniques in them, and I think at this micro scale, they really make these buildings and landmarks very recognizable, and they look really good on display. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this architectural skyline. I'm going to get going on another video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've linked my architectural playlist up here on the screen if you want to see more reviews of our architectural sets.